This is the Big Biz Show. Yeah, look at this place. What's so funny about investing money, you ask? Play ball. The Big Biz Show with Russ and Sully hope to answer that. Top-rated, insightful financial analysis. If you are looking for insightful financial perspective on key market strategies, keep looking. I told you, this is the Big Biz Show. Hello. See, that's good. See, it works out. This is Russ and Sully. Uh, okay, a couple of things here. One of our favorite guests as of late uh, has become A.P. Silverstein. He is the CEO and president of a company called Imagine AR. Uh, they are an augmented reality company uh, that is uh, uh, intersecting with, with, with commerce. Pretty cool. And uh, we met him a few weeks ago at the behest of one of you folks. It's been great, and we decided to keep coming. Look, there's a Porsche dealership. Just telling you what kind of deal you're going to get at a Porsche. Right now, come on uh, in. AP, I'm just going to let you take it away. By the way, they are publicly traded under the stock symbol IPNFF here in the States, uh, IP on the Canadian Stock Exchange. You can go to imagineAR.com. Of course, I'll tweet it out to our 40,000. We'll also be on our website. But AP, great to have you again, man. Let's, I'm going to let you take over here because you've become very popular on this program. <laughs> well, I'm along with popular guys. Thank you very much. Hey, yeah. Good afternoon, Sully and Russ. Thank you again for having me participate in your great show. And well, I love so, being on. So you know, you know, here's the deal. Uh, so there is uh, there's virtual reality and right. then there's augmented reality. And I got a couple of emails last time you were on asking the difference. And I, yes. I, I promised I would, I would have you explain that. So that can is, we start off with that? Absolutely. So virtual reality is where you put actually the lens and it covers your eyes completely. Uh, this Oculus Rift is out there. It's very famous. And it's usually for gaming, immersive. No matter where you look, you're within the game in 360, but you can't really move, right? You're not going to go out into the street with your lenses. You're not going to go anywhere else. You're going to stay in a seat and immerse yourself in that. Augmented reality brings you to the next level where you go out into the world utilizing your phone today. Down the road, it will be glasses. We can discuss that after. But using a phone and then pointing at something and the information, the picture, the cool immersion of what's going on digitally overlays through the phone on the real world, just like oh. you're showing with what's going on in Santa Monica. So, cool. so that gives you the ability to engage, enhance photos. You can take pictures, videos of it, and then immediately share it into social media as well. Did I just see like a marking spot on a, on a sidewalk or something where if you stand here and use this, you'll maximize the uh, app? Absolutely. So you could do, very hmm. good point there. So you could do what's called GPS, location-based. So you can drop things at specific locations we're working with sports teams, we're working with retailers where they want to drop promotions or cool AR emergence at specific locations anywhere in the world using our platform. Yeah. And as you go through, you see it, you can engage with it, you can receive coupons, yeah. you can get cool things with athletes like a green screen and stand next to them. And as you saw last time we discussed, we actually had Flo Rider drop into everyone's house in Broward County <laughs> that they can dance with them and immediately up up upload it to TikTok. Absolutely. So, I, I so, caught that because I'm used to seeing them everywhere I go. Right. Stand in line, there's a red dot, stand here right. until the next bank, you know. <laughs> So. Right. So what's the latest, AP? Because, you, because look, at, we've, we've kind of we kind of laid the, the framework. And if you go to imagineAR.com, you can certainly see every cool stuff that's going on there. But what's, what, give us the latest, because your story is developing even over the last couple of weeks that we've been, t we've been talking to you. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So we recently just signed a deal with a group called Book Your Stadium, which is over in Spain. And by the way, my Spanish is not quite that good. And they're offering virtual immersive experiences digitally because of what's going on with COVID and pandemic. They work with the top teams in La Liga. I don't know if you're familiar. That's one of the biggest soccer leagues in the world. We work with two teams already, Valencia and Royal Sociedad. But they're going to offer engagements where you can have your favorite player, the famous players, drop into your house and you can engage with them and then receive discounts on merchandise. So we're really expanding globally. And as a matter of fact, in the next week or two, Shoppers Drug Mart, which is the equivalent of CVS or Walmart, uh, you know, Walgreens here in the U.S., yeah. we're going to work with 2,500 of the employees across Canada doing a training session using mobile AR with Imagine AR platform. So here, so my nice. question would be this, is that, look, this is obviously a great experience for consumers. Like, I can, I can see me using this all the time. Mm -hmm. You know, as we were talking about this morning, you go by a, a music venue and you hold the phone up and it tells you what tickets are. Or you go up next to a, 
to a, you know, whatever, a coffee cannabis shop. Or, yeah. What's this cannabis shop? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. They exist. <laughs> Got purple Kush on sale for Rusty. Don't hurt so, me. So <laughs> now on the on the consumer side, we're looking at video here, how how this would work. Wow. You know, obviously this is this is something that is is uh, I think it's a, uh, naturally this is gonna happen. <laughs> and of course now you're holding up a you're holding up a, at a sports event here for our television audience, and it, 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 it will give, give you their bobblehead. Well, potentially, it'll give you their stats and give you a chance amazing. to buy a bobblehead and a, and a T-shirt and amazing. a and a cap. Exactly. What's the adoptability from the companies? Because you got to have the companies deploy for it to work on the consumer side. Talk about how, because obviously you're signing people up. What's the sales pitch, and how tough is it to get these guys to say yes? You know, I'd say about at the beginning of the, you know, the pandemic, an unfortunate event, it was the cool technology. It was cool, it was neat, but no one quite sure how to make money as a business. With the pandemic, with COVID, we're getting tremendous interest around the globe where sports teams, entertainment, retails are looking to engage consumers or sports fans in their homes. So we're seeing a big interest of adoption to engage people safely, COVID friendly, socially distanced, that while someone's sitting at home watching a stream of a game, they can point their phone literally at the screen at a certain logo or a brand wow. or even a QR code and up would come an immersive ad or some cool immersive activity tied to the event that you can then go purchase something or have some cool event to share in social media. We're seeing tremendous interest. Yeah. We expect and very optimistic as we go forward in 2021, this will be the year of major AR adoption around the world. I'm seeing a lot of jobs generated here by someone's got to make those graphics and make the dinosaur walk and someone's got to be, you know what I mean? You're right, Russ. You're right. And that's it. And you've got a new audience because when you had the VFX artists from the movie industry, yeah. they were doing all the special effects. You're seeing a shift into augmented reality, even virtual reality concerts where you're going to need the artists and engage to create these models, yeah. these interactions and deliver them around the world for people to enjoy and, and experience through their mobile phones. Wow. And then when the glasses come out, which will look like this, <laughs> yeah. tethered to your phone, as you walk around as if you're walking down Times Square, you'll see advertisements, emergents, and we'll be in living the minority hey, report. AP hey, Silverstein, stay there. I'm going to keep you over. We can, I can't help but talk to this guy. You know, know we, he only says he's going to give us 10 minutes. I'm going to keep him for 15. AP Silverstein is the CEO and president of Imagine AR. They are publicly traded here in the States under the stock symbol IPNFF. Up in Canada, it's Canadian stock exchange under the stock symbol IP. ImagineAR.com. More Big Biz coming up. Look at you. That's good, huh? That's weird. Hey, AP Silverstein <laughs> is uh, CEO and president of Imagine AR. Uh, they're an augmented reality company. Uh, their website is ImagineAR.com. Uh, they are publicly traded under the stock symbol IPNFF here in the States. They are also up in Canada. Uh, Canadian stock exchange under CSE IP. Uh, AP, I have to ask you this. Hmm. Do you think that this is going to change retail and the way folks do business the same way cell phones change the way we communicate? Because I was watching a movie last night. I didn't wow. remember the name of it, but it was pre-cell phone. It was so weird because mm -hmm. the guy was looking for a phone booth. He was trying to get oh, a, yeah, you know, yeah. in a speed chase because the bad guys were going to go to his, you know, the, the wife's house. Yeah. And it's like, get out of the house. But he couldn't call for like, what's the figure? Even the early 80s, it's like, hello, hold on. Let me get this. Uh, I have a mobile phone. It's like 400 pounds <laughs> on, a, on a nine volt. Do you think, I mean, I know that I, I know that you're an advocate for this, but this could, based upon the reaction you're getting, from businesses, I mean, you know what the consumer reaction is going to be. Do you think this could change, like really be the way we do things going forward? Oh, absolutely. And you're right on by uh, Russ, good on the cell phone. I remember those days. So <laughs> with the market forecast right now is go from today, 5 billion to any year between 60 and 190 billion, according to analysts, it's going in and it will change the way that people are going to engage in entertainment, but also retail. So rather than people walking in a store and certainly at the pandemic, they've been very negatively hit because have the ability to use a phone rather than someone looking at Amazon and hitting the buy key is give an immersive experience at that retail, give them some cool interaction, a potential coupon or some other yeah. way to engage them in a cool, unique way that they wouldn't get if they're just sitting at home online and hitting a button. So it's gonna change retail. Mm -hmm. It's changed certainly in the restaurant world. You see QR codes now where people are using them for menus you point your phone it brings up the menu yeah. but how about showing the food giving a video having a coupon come out the chef oh, yeah. saying what he's cooking the uses are endless in any niche education retail consumer medical That'd entertainment it will change the way the world's going to operate 
through the mobile phone for the next few years, and then we're going to transition to glasses, and then there we go. Yeah. Okay, so my question for you is for, for Imagine AR, what's next for you guys over the rest of 2021 and beyond? And obviously, well, I'm 20... not talking about stock price and stuff like that. I'm just talking about as no. a company, where are you going? We've really expanded overseas in a very big way. So we're going to see ourselves expand further into sports. We're very strong in the sports fan engagement world. As we've discussed previously, we have the NBA Sacramento Kings. There you go. We work with the Hall of Fame. You should have a contest. Who can name all of these Hall of Famers in a row the fastest and email you? We'll give you a gift card if you can get it fast. If someone can name oh, that's all good. of them. Wow. So I'll dedicate an Amazon gift card for somebody right there or, or a restaurant one to name them all quickly, one first one in. I can't name so one not of only that, I will also do entertainment and AR live streaming. Imagine you're in a studio, as I said last time, Sully and, and Russ, and we can stream you into homes around the world where through the phone, it looks like you're standing right there wow. and talking right to them. Wow. I'd Please. like to stream some of them right back at me. <laughs> I, well, I think I think we need what we need to do is we need to get to get uh, the Imagine AR platform on the Big Biz Show. Well, hey Pete, you never know. Watch you back next week, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate all your time. Imagine AR again. Go to imaginear.com and yeah. again they are publicly. You guys always ask me about their stock symbols. I'm going to say it again. IPNFF See? here in the U.S. and then on uh, up in the Canadian Stock Exchange, it's under the symbol I. <laughs>